Okay, another little video for social psychology, paper one. This time it's the exam question that says briefly discuss. Here it is briefly discuss one dispositional factor influencing obedience. So for three marks, let's have a quick look at that. Okay, so if we have this question discuss, really what they're saying is tell me a little bit about it and then go on to evaluate it. So in other words, what are the strengths and weaknesses? So we're going to start off with one dispositional factor being Adorno's authoritarian personality. So the question is discuss, but it's useful for us to outline a little bit, show our understanding of the authoritarian personality. So I would take fact one or two. So here we've got Adorno use the F scale questionnaire, so 30 questions on nine different personality dimensions. And, you know, I put in a load of detail here to assess 2000 middle class white Americans on their unconscious attitudes towards other racial groups. You probably don't need as much detail as that, but that would be a fantastic start. Or you go with fact two that found authoritarian personalities were more hostile, inflexible to non-conventional views and um, believed very much in power and toughness. So they were more extremely respectful. They had real respect, extreme respect for those of higher, those in higher uh, authority to them, um, for those are higher in authority, but more dismissive and actually contemptuous of those with inferior social status. So I, I've included that just so you've got an outline of Adorno's authoritarian, but you wouldn't need all of that with this question. OK, but remember, the question is discuss. We need a little bit of that information. Let's go on to discuss it. So let's have a look at the evaluation. Um, so we could start with, however, Adorno used the F scale, the fascism scale, to correlate against Milgram's obedience test. And one problem with this is about correlations. They sh don't show relationships. They don't show causal links. Sorry, they do show relationships, but they don't show a causal link. OK, so although he found a positive correlation between the two variables, showing that obedience was linked to the authoritarian personality, it doesn't show that one caused the other because correlations do just show relationships, not causal links. Or you could say the authoritarian personality types can't account for whole populations. Huge groups of people obeying um, in one population. So, for example, it can't account for the huge numbers of people obeying orders in situations like Nazi Germany, in times like Nazi Germany. They cannot all have had the same personality type. So there has to be an alternative cause for that sort of obedience. Or you could use research. So, for example, Zilmer's um, research does not support this link between obedience and authoritarian personality. Zilmer reported that 16 of the Nazi war criminals scored high on three of Adorno's F-scale personality dimensions, but not high on all nine of those dimensions, those personality dimensions. So again, there must be an alternative explanation for that obedience. We could also have the F-scale measures extreme right-wing ideology. However, there also exists extreme left-wing ideologies, for example, the Chinese Maoism, and Adorno's theory doesn't account, for, therefore, for the whole political spectrum. So it's not a, what we would say a, a comprehensive theory covering all, all of the spectrum. OK, so I've given you a lot of evaluation there. Remember, you don't need all of that for the three marks, but you would pick out one of these evaluative points, really, prefer, preferably um, possibly going on to two, but really you probably wouldn't need two. You just need to make sure that you really fully develop one of those points. OK, the other thing is we could have a locus of control. So the other theory is because it asks this particular question asks you to discuss one dispositional factor. The other dispositional is locus of control. So in other words, how much we believe we're in control of our own lives. High internals believe that we affect our own outcomes. High externals, OK, so high internal or high external they have the belief that things turn out regardless of our input. In other words, chance, fate, etc. plays a big role. And the link here with obedience is that Rotter believes that high internals are better able to resist pressures. So in other words, less likely to obey. OK, so there I've just put that on the screen. So we need to then go on to discuss. So we could put in after we're pointing out you know, what we know about locus of control, just go on to the discussion. Research to support it, for example, from Holland, who tested a link between locus of control and obedience, and he found no relationship. But Blass then reanalyzed Rotter's work and found that high internals were actually more able to resist. Blass going on to use more sensitive statistics. Or we could say, okay, so this is an or, 
or Holland, repeated milligrams research and assessed if participants were internals or externals, high internals or high externals, and found that 37% of the high internals did not continue to 450 volts versus the 23% of high externals who did, and therefore supporting this um, theory of locus of control. Or we could say Twang's analysis from obedience studies over 40 years found people became more resistant, but they also increased in their external high external locus of control. And if resistance is linked to internal, then we should see the reverse of that. So this is controversial. It doesn't really support the original theory. Or we could say Rotter says that locus of control only occurs in new situations. But in familiar situations, what we tend to do is behave as we always do. In other words, if you always obey, you're more likely to obey. But if you don't obey, you're not likely to obey. So again, locus of control does not explain all situations. So again, I've given you quite a lot of evaluation, but to be honest, a lot of that evaluation will cover you for um, a more extensive um, answer on locus of control or authoritarian personality, and therefore you're covered for those as well.